Hello, my name is Davut Süleymanum. I am final year student at Yıldız Teknoloji University, Electronics and Communication Engineering. I am the captain of Neuronix UAV team from Yıldız Teknoloji University and I would like to welcome you to our promotional video. Hello, my name is Murat Çadır. I am a senior student in Mechatronic Engineering at Yıldız Technical University and I am the team lead of uh, mechanical department at Neuronix UAV team. Hello, I am Kerem Tatlıcı, a computer science student at University of Bavia. Proudly serving as a software team leader of Yıldız Technical University Ronix UAV team. Hello, my name is Rustam Muhtarov. I am Mechatronics Senior at Yıldız Technical University. And I am part of a software team at Ronix. Hello, my name is Samir Gambelli. I am a computer engineering student at Yıldız Technical University. And I am a part of software unit at Ronix team. Hello, my name is Enes Yılmaz and I study Mechatronics Engineering at Yıldız Technical University. And I am a me member of mechanical team in Ronix. <laughs> Hello, I am Ömer Kırlı. I am a fourth grade mechatronics engineering student at Yıldız Technical University. I am a one of the member of electronics team at Duranix. Hi, my name is Hasan Damirli. I am a fourth year student at Yıldız Technical University in mechatronics. Uh, I am a part of uh, electronical team at uh, Duranix. After the determining electronic components to be used on the drone, the chassis material was chosen as a carbon fiber based on its durability. Then, after calculations, the total weight was determined to be 24.3 kg. The forces that would arise during the flight were determined with a free body diagram. The weight of all components was calculated and each part was measured to ensure accurate weight calculations. Motors were selected using the MATLAB calculations. The results indicate that a load of 6.05 kg will be applied to each motors. For safety factor of 2 was used in selecting motors with a lifting capacity of 12 plus kg. The efficient operating range and appropriate thrust values were determined using the motor datasheet and the suitable propellers were selected according to a motor datasheet. Thorough calculations, measurements, and analysis, the drone size was determined to be 450 mm length, 350 mm width, and 840 mm height. The propeller was determined to be 30 inches. The motor axis distance was measured at 1453 mm. Static calculations were performed on the carbon fiber arms and their stress was determined to be 28 megapascal. The designs created through the calculations were analyzed and simulated using the ANSYS program to determine the strength and deformation that will occur in the main body design due to calculated forces. The ANSYS program was used for static analysis. The stress values on the arms were measured between 23 and 29 megapascal which demonstrated the accuracy of the calculations. Afterward, airflow analysis of the propeller were conducted. According to the result, the pressure difference caused by the high airflow generated by the 30-inch propeller led to divisions in barometer data. To address this problem and ensure effective sealing, a cover design was developed to, that took into account weight and aerodynamic effects. To safeguard a valuable electronic component in case of accidents, a safety cage was designed. The designed cage was subjected to dynamic collision analysis to determine its strength. It was subsequently produced using welding. Our electronic system consists of three main parts. Flight controller board, auxiliary computer, NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX, and bullet AZ devices used for communication. There are three batteries in our system, two six cell batteries with a capacity of 22,000 mAh are connected in series to form a single 12S 22,000 mAh battery and are used to feed electric motors with propulsion system. Our third battery, 6S, has a capacity of 6200 mAh per hour and is used to feed auxiliary computers, communication devices and other intermediate elements. There are three cards we produce in our system, Xeno card, Backboost converter and Ground Control Station card. 
the Xenoboard is designed to control the airdrop mechanism. Our team is excited to present our algorithm for the SUAS competition. Our goal was to create a system that can search for objects and accurately drop an airdrop. Here's how our algorithm works. First, our drone used the YOLO before tiny model to detect if there is a human in your area. If there is, the drone drops the airdrop for the human. However, if there is no human present, our algorithm moves on to the next step. Our algorithm then used image processing techni techniques to detect if there is a specific color present in the area. If there is, it checked if the color form a shape. We have defined the, a list of valid shapes that the color can form, such as circles, triangles, and rectangles. Our algorithm uses contour detection to find the shape and determine its type. Once the shape has been identified, our algorithm uses OCR, which means optical character recognition, to recognize the letter on the shape. We have defined a list of valid letters that can be present which are uppercase letters and numbers. Our algorithm converts the letter to a string and then drops the airdrop at the location of the detected letter. Overall, we believe our algorithm is robust and efficient, and we are excited to put it to the test in the SUAS competition. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to showing you our system in action. Software Codes of Communication part has been written using Python socket library. Communication script consists of total three threads. Uh, and first of these threads was used to send telemetry information. The second one was used to encode or compress frame matrix and send it to the client. And finally, third thread was for voice recognition part. Compression algorithm that used to encode the frame matrix is called as base64. Interface of our desktop desktop application was designed and coded using PyQt library of Python. PyQt is Python extension of Qt library, uh, which was written in C++. Additionally, it's possible to connect and disconnect to the servers from client using voice recognition. Our drone's autopilot system is a big sub cube orange. It is a reliable and robust system that enables our drone to fly autonomously, ensuring its stability and safety. The autopilot system is equipped with various sensors that provide accurate real-time data to our algorithm, allowing the drone to make precise and informed decisions during flight. Our team has thoroughly tested and fine-tuned the autopilot system to ensure that it performs at its best, even in harsh weather conditions. With this autopilot system, our drone can execute complex maneuvers, maintain its altitude and stability, and perform various tasks with ease. Ensuring safety is a top priority for us, and we have taken various measures to minimize any potential risk in operating our drone. Our team has conducted throughout risk assessment to identify and mitigate any potential hazards, and we have implemented six safety protocols to ensure the safe operation of our drone at all times. To further refine and test our drone's capabilities in a safe and controlled environment, we utilize the Gazebo simulation program as part of a flight readiness testing. Through extensive simulation flights, we were able to fine-tune our autopilot's performance and identify any potential issues before conducting actual flights. By using Gazebo, we were able to simulate numerous scenarios that would be challenging to replicate in the real world, enable us to ensure the readiness of our drone system for safe and successful mission deployment. Moreover, we have implemented various mitigation to minimize the chances of system failure to inaccurate readings, such as calibrating our drone sensors and systems. In case of emergencies, we have a fail-safe system in place that enables our drone to land safely. Our team takes every precaution to ensure that our drone operates safely and efficiently at all times. We have conducted various tests to assess our autopilot system performance and ensure that it meets our expectations. Our tests have included hover tests and flight tests among others. The results of these tests have been positive, and we are confident that our autopilot system can execute complex maneuvers and maintain the drone's stability and safely in all flight scenarios. Our autopilot system performance has exceeded our expectations, and we are continually monitoring and fine-tuning it to ensure that it performs at its best. 
We have extensively tested our drone's mission capabilities to ensure that it can perform its task efficiently and effectively. Our tests have included mapping, surveying, and delivery missions, among others. We have also tested our drone's ability to operate in harsh weather conditions, such as high winds and cold temperatures. The results of our mission testing have been positive, and we are confident that our drone can execute its task with precision and accuracy. We understand the importance of proving that our drone operates safely and efficiently, and we have taken all necessary steps to do so. We have conducted several flight tests to demonstrate our drone's safe operation, and we have recorded all flight data for analysis. Additionally, we have implemented strict safety protocols and procedures to ensure that our drone operates safely at all times. We are confident that our flight readiness measures and proof of safe flight provide ample evidence of our drone's safe operation. And we are committed to continually monitoring and improving our drone's safety measures.